Greetings this Monday in Holy Week. We are uh, gathering for prayer and devotions today. Um, my name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. Um, let's take a moment today to uh, really reflect on what this week might mean for us, a time, an extra special time to uh, focus in on our relationships with God and uh, one another. Christ Jesus, being found in human form, humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. O oh God, let our mouths proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today, if you would hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Our psalm chosen for the day is a portion of Psalm 51, verses 1 through 18. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offense. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, even my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak in upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look up for truth deep within me and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin and I shall be pure. Wash me and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from the death of God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Had you desired it, I would have offered sacrifice, but take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. <clears throat> Our reflection uh, is taken from Henry Nouwen's um, work, Renewed for Life, which um, we've been working with throughout Lent and uh, will conclude this week. Today's reflection is called Offering Ourselves, Sins and All. When all is said and done, what we must learn above all is to offer ourselves imperfections and all to God. If we keep waiting until we are worthy of God, we will move farther rather than closer to him. It is through our broken, vulnerable, mortal ways of being that the healing power of the eternal God becomes visible to us. We are called each day to present to the Lord the whole of our lives, our joys as well as our sorrows, our successes as well as failures, our hopes as well as fears. We are called to do so with our limited means, our stuttering words and halting expressions. In this way, we will come to know in mind and heart the unceasing prayer of God's Spirit in us. Our many prayers are in fact confessions of our inability to pray, but they are confessions that enable us to perceive the merciful presence of God. I think the theme is rather clear for today, um, that God is not a perfectionist, 
and that we needn't be either. <laughs> um, it's okay to strive to, to be the, our best selves, um, but to also realize that God works through our weaknesses and God works through the very things that we sometimes despise in ourselves. That God is as present there as God is with those things that we feel are our tremendous achievements that we've uh, managed uh, throughout our life. So it's important to, to take the whole of everything. Um, and that's true not only for how we view ourselves, but also our relationships. Also our sisters and brothers we share communion with. That um, sometimes we can get pretty um, particular and sometimes even harsh to towards others who might not fill the bill or, or um, do things the same way that we do them. Um, and we're kind of encouraged to maybe ease up a little and kind of look around ourselves and see where God might be working uh, maybe in a different way uh, with this other person than, than ourselves. So it gives us some, some place to begin this Holy Week to, um, to again bring our whole selves before God and invite God to, to embrace all of us in all our complexity as human beings. And let us find that same truth, same um, tolerance, same love uh, for each other. Let us pray for one another today. a little early on a Monday morning, so I apologize for my being out of place here. So let us open our hearts to God, who's uh, always encouraging us, always stretch, stretching us to do something a little differently, stretching us to um, maybe uh, give more than where you accustomed to giving, stretching us to be more kind, uh, to more tolerant, more loving. Holy God, creator of heaven and earth, holy and mighty, redeemer of the world, holy immortal one, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy on us. Hear our prayers, O Christ our God. Govern and direct us. Fill us with love and truth and grant that unity which is your will. Enlighten us. Give your people grace to witness to your word and bring forth the fruit of your spirit. Bring into greater truth all who have erred and are deceived. Strengthen the, and comfort those who are who seek help and are faint-hearted, who raise up the fallen. Guide our leaders of our nations into the ways of peace and justice. We pray for the people of Ukraine and all peoples of the world who struggle for justice, who are victims of useless war, who fall prey to the senseless greed of others. Comfort and liberate the lonely, bereaved, and the oppressed. Heal the sick in body, mind, and spirit. Guard and protect all your children who are in danger this day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
May God bless you and keep you this day, embrace you with his love, and have you know how deeply God loves you, all of you, the warts and the, and the frailties, the mistakes and the joys and, and successes. God loves you for the whole that you are. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Blessings this holy week.